kind of putting this, the latest King Trello preamp through its paces after I finish building it. And what we have here is a, a, a MRL test tape that works with the uh, Sound Technology 1510. And I'm playing it on my little Stellavox that's just being used as a transport. So I've got the heads wired out to this. And I've got this in the 50 dB position on NAB and tape because, of course, the preamp can be used for both tape and uh, uh, phono. So what I've done here, the first thing on this is, is a frequency sweep. And I just do this to see basically the... This, the heads are a little bit off on this, but we're saying that the, the two channels, the output is about, uh, about a dB, about zero dB to, to start. <clears throat> and I use that as my reference. Then the next thing is there's an azimuth on here. And so this is showing that the, um, what you should see is if the azimuth is nut, dead nuts on, you should see these four little frequencies be equal all the way across here. And the fact that they're not is saying that the azimuth is a little off. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment because um, this is awfully sensitive to, to some of the adjustments. And at the moment, I want, I want to do something else with this. I just want to look at the frequency response on this and uh, just to get an idea if my controls are... are uh, Okay, so this is a frequency response sweep uh, from 20 to 20 kilohertz NAB. And I'm going to just stop this now because this is, this is 10 dB per, per division. I'm going to stop this. I want to expand it. <clears throat> so this is basically showing me that, that we're getting within 2 dB from 20 hertz to about 10 kilohertz. And these heads are a little bit worn now, so it's dropping off there. But I know that this is, uh, I was, I'm, I'm looking at this particular thing basically to tell me if I've got my, my uh, high frequency adjustment right. And at the moment, this is fine. I'm going to go back and tweak it, tweak the highs in a little bit. I'm changing, I'm going to reverse the channels and run another sweep on the other channel. And this is basically, you know, again, it's uh, understanding I've got that the head has got a little bit of problem. We're within 2 dB all the way from, uh, actually, I think I've got a little, I'm going to take that head bump down a little bit. But, uh, oh, no, here, now we go on to IEC. Let's see if I can, I'll, I'll take a look at the, this, the head bump is even less. Uh, actually, I maybe I've, I've got to check and make sure that my head bump circuit in there is working right. And uh, let's look at the second one. Okay. Now the other thing that I want to do, and this doesn't require the use of a test tape, but what I do is put in two resistors that simulate the uh, simulate the head power supply. Oh, that's mm -hmm. here. And now I want to do a. Uh, I want. I'm real interested in this particular one on the. The noise. No, oh, wait a minute. Did I do noise? Oh, there it is. Waited and start this. I want to see what the noise level is. Okay. Basically minus 81 or 82. This is this is the the weighted level of every of all the noise components. And what this will do in a minute when it feels like it is it'll do an actual frequency response spectrum of the noise and I'm most interested in the 60 and 120 Hertz sometimes you may want to stop I will let you know let's we can come back to that for what